Aaron, thank you. It's 532 on a Thursday. The 7 Eyewitness News I team has been telling you about law enforcement agencies hiding behind a state law, keeping what you'd expect to be public information private. We're looking to see how many officers have been disciplined but are still on the job and still being paid. And all new for you this morning, the 7 Eyewitness News I team has discovered a bill just sitting in Albany that would repeal that state law and would make these documents available to the public. It's sponsored by a downstate lawmaker in between the state Senate and the Assembly. Only one Western New York lawmaker has signed on as a co-sponsor. That's Assembly Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes. I don't see how any public servant who has sworn to an oath would fear transparency. What will it take to get this done? There has to be a consensus. If there is no consensus yet, then you're not going to get it forward. So there's no consensus on this yet. No consensus despite the State Committee on Open Government insisting the repeal of this law is long overdue and prevents meaningful public oversight of law enforcement. The majority leader says it comes down to strong unions and lobbyists. There are a lot of people who are supported, but there are a lot of people who don't, like the PBA, the Corrections Association, um, the firefighters uh, organization. They don't want this level of accountability. Now, ask them why they don't, and maybe you'll figure out why we can't get this passed. So we've twice reached out to the Buffalo Firefighters Local Office and the Buffalo Police Union, but neither have responded to our request for a comment. We'll continue to push for comments and answers from both unions and our local representatives in Albany.